Right, I like to leave uh, most of my tools out. Uh, the reason for that is they're really accessible, um, always to hand. I'm not going to risk chopping my fingers off, fumbling through a drawer for knives and things. So I have um, my really sh the, the really sharp knives up on the wall, where equally their blades won't get um, won't get damaged. Um, and the the rest of the stuff then goes in here, where it's much easier to find and manage. Um, we have um, uh, whisk. So we could use that for whisking eggs, uh, egg whites, um, sauces. Um, there are tongs, and they're quite handy for serving, um, and also for turning when we're turning roasting foods, um, rather than be trying to mess with spoons and get splashes everywhere. They're, they're really precise for turning stuff, or in the frying pan. Um, we also have... Um, a masher for mashing various vegetables that gets used quite a lot um, because I would do quite a lot of potato toppings or other mashed vegetables. Uh, comfort food at this time of year is really really nice so the vegetable masher comes in for quite a lot of use. Um, there once was a pasta fork. It's still a pasta fork for measuring because it's quite important to make sure that you have the right amount of food for the number of people that you're cooking for. Um, there's no point in cooking too much food and having half of it left over. But that's also quite good, or would be, if it still had its little, um, its little, yeah, its little um, prongs for actually serving pasta. We also have the serving cake or other stuff, and that actually will slice and serve. Uh, and help stop break up your slice of whatever you're serving. In fact, we might use that later this morning and demonstrate it.